Hey guys, so we're processing chickens in about a week and a half now. We need to set up our picker. We bought a picker and it's in a box over there. So we have to take it out of the box and put it all together. So I figured I would show that to you guys as we do it today and try to review it a little bit. It's a Kitchener. I know that the Max Happy Homestead uses it and I think the Prairie Homestead uses it too. This is the Kitchener Plucker. We bought this on Black Friday last year. We bought it on, off of Amazon for like a hundred and something dollar discount because it was, you know, Black Friday days. It also went on sale in July last year when Amazon had their prime days, but we missed the window so we didn't get the good price on it. So we waited till Black Friday and we got it. So we're gonna use it this summer, uh, chicken processing. Let's see if I can lift this up. Okay, let's open it up. Those are kind of pain in the butt to get off. <laughs> um, I didn't take four off, did I? I thought I could only get three. What happened to the other one? That, that's interesting, because uh, I thought I only took three off. But there are were, there were four holes here, so. Oh no, there's only three holes here. There's three holes here. There was only three holes there. So, currently I can't count. <laughs> this is gonna be the motor, probably. Nope. This is the bottom. Are these extra thumbs? I think that's what they are. Extra thumbs, that's kinda nice. In case we break some. Let's see here. We got, oh, here we go. These are the feet of this sucker. This thing's actually on wheels, which is nice. One wheel, look at that. Got wheels. Out. There's the motor. That motor can't go there because that's where the chickens are going to go. So it's going to have to come out. <laughs> Love how they make it idiot proof. <laughs> so I know what leg it is. How does that guy come out of there? Well, I think this whole thing just turns around. That makes, that makes more sense too. That means that this would be where all the feathers come and collect and the water goes out the drain. Yeah, that would make sense. So that means we've got to undo, you get it, y'all. All right, that guy comes out. This guy comes out. Do one more, y'all. Right, all right, now this should just lift up. We'll turn it around at one, two, Three, four of these and four clips. Let's see if this works. Hey, this is where the heavy part is, huh? Okay, a little pinch, but it's all right. Here's the clip right here. Boom. Should line up. Should line up. That one doesn't line up. <laughs> so, oh, I see. See, there's a little arrow here. Gotta line the arrows up. That'll do it right there. They, they do make it idiot proof. There you go. That's more like it. Well, that was pretty simple. I thought there was gonna be more work to that. I gotta put the legs on still, but I thought I had to take the motor off and reattach it, but I don't have to do that, so that's nice. Nice GFCI plug there. All right. Let's put the, where it be? So it be in the map. Gotta get in the map. Just go on there. Oh, there's the cotton pin. Yeah, I was wondering what held these things on there. <laughs> 
a little cotter pin. Makes sense. What up, though? Last leg. Got a little ahead of myself. And it wouldn't be putting something together if I didn't do it wrong. So, so I just got a little key here to go into this key slot there. You see it? So I'll drop this sucker in here. There you go. Now this is gonna turn with the motor. And then we'll take this guy, drop him right on top. I think I will put it on the ground now while it's not quite as heavy. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Sorry, I wasn't that helpful. That's alright. You look like you're doing such a good job. Yeah, I did it wrong only once. Oh, we got it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna put it down on the ground in front of this thing. It looks kind of small. Yeah. Well, it's not that It's okay. Uh, we can fit two chickens in there. It's probably more. I think it says two to four. Is this really heavy? No. What are those clips before? Those clips were just for transport. Yeah, like I took me a while to figure that out. So now this guy is going to be set on top. Um, the dogs are outside. Real! Henry, where did you go? Real! Now lift these hooks up. Boom. Real, huh? She's out. She's pieced out. Real! You're like the queen of the house until the electric fence shows up. Good. It looks so little compared to so that little. big one we had for uh, It looks so small. It's so small. But should we have washed it with like soap and water? I mean, we could just rinse it with soap and we're just gonna steal soap. Creole, what do you think? Come here. <laughs> Sit. What do you think, huh? What do you think? Sit. Mm -hmm. Creole. What's this for? <laughs> We shouldn't have any leftover pieces. No, What's this for? What's this a cute little hook? What's yeah. this for? It's all, it's all put together. These still have to go. They just slip on there and that's it. Yeah, there's a powder on one. Does the pin go like straight like this? It would go around the side. Go around, yeah. It would go around the rounded side, not the straight side. That's but right. turn, it 90, turn it 90 degrees. There you go. Oh, I understand. How would you even open it? Need a hammer. Put a wheel on. What's this part for? I have extra parts. I don't know what to do with it. Ow. I don't like that. I don't like we have extra washers too. What are washers for? What did you do? I don't know. I I didn't help you, but I'm gonna go blow the deck off. Didn't you already do that? No. Oh you blew the garage out. Alright, we got extra pieces, and I'm not sure why. But I gotta put this back on. Do that. Wanna go back inside? Huh? This is clearly the most annoying part. She didn't put the wheels on. I really wish I knew what this screw was for. I don't know. Okay, those wheels are kind of sweet. <laughs> Can you hang this up over there? Maybe. I can't reach this with all this stuff. Can you put that back on too? Alright, moment of truth. Hey, hey, hey. Alright, so should we be good to go? This thing is only supposed to, I think, do two. I think two to four chickens can fit in the drum at a time. It's not that big, but it's plenty big enough for a local small scale homesteader that wants to pick their own chickens. If you're trying to do commercial chicken, you might want to get a little bigger machine than this, but this is gonna work for us. So thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in more stuff like this, and we will talk to you later. Thanks so much, bye. So it looks like I got a couple of um, extra parts. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I'll have to uh, do some research and figure that one out later.
Did you order it? Thank you for calling for turning that on.